DJ Shifty here from DubSpot, and welcome to part two of my Let It Be Known routine, where I will break down how to map the remix decks in Tractor to any MIDI controller. Now, if you watch that routine, you may have noticed a certain mysterious yet aggravated elder gentleman in the background. Uh, apparently, he took the bus here from Crown Heights. I uh, heard there might be free soup. There's no free soup, and he refuses to leave. I got his name, we're, we're sort of new friends, acquaintances. I'd like to introduce all of you to Old Shifty. Bah! What's the matter, Old Shifty? Back in my day, we didn't have people helping us how to do things. No siree, we just went outside and we looked up at the moon. It told us everything we needed to know. Gave us guidance, oh sweet, beautiful moon. Moon! Bah! I interesting, but you know, DJ technology has advanced a lot. Things can be a little bit more complicated now. Uh, if you give people a little bit of guidance, certainly there's no harm in that, right? Bah! Technology! Back in my day, all we needed was a phonograph player and a stick. We got the joint jumping. Wait, 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 wait. What, what was the stick for? Sometimes at the co-ed social, the roof would be too low. So we'd raise the roof with a stick. Bah! You call yourself a DJ. You don't even have a stick. Bah! OK, I guess, I guess that makes sense. Let's, let's continue on with the tutorial anyway. Maybe some of these non-stick-based DJ techniques will uh, suit your fancy. Uh, we'll, we'll continue on. Uh, so before we get into how to actually map the remix decks in Tractor, let's just take a quick tour of the sounds that I used in my routine. So the routine primarily uses deck A, controlled here, and deck C and deck D, uh, where I'm controlling the track Let It Be Known by Swindle and Joker, shout out to Butters, on deck A. And then in my other decks, I have a collection of one-shot samples that I've grabbed from the very same track. So in deck A, I'm working primarily with And I'm using these pads here simply to control the cue points. Then in deck C, as I said, I have a bunch of one-shot samples. And so I have sometimes manipulated them a little bit. And they respond to the touch like that. And so when I'm performing the routine, I'm just controlling these. Also deck D. And in this part, I actually grabbed a whole chunk from the song, Let It Be Known, and just chopped it up uh, by eighth notes. Uh, this is a technique I learned from Jeremy Ellis. I don't know if he invented it, but he's a very powerful, also mysterious man. I don't know if he's on the level of old shifty over there but that could be a nice battle of mysteriousness. Um, so here I just took a, a chunk of the track and, and broke it up evenly. And so this lets you sort of play around with a break a bit more. So that was a quick tour of the sounds that I used in my room. Ah, what, what's the problem? All these buttons. Back in my day, the only buttons we needed were for our three-piece suits. Men were men, women were men, and men were women. It was a provocative era. Ah. OK, well, let's, let's press on with the routine anyway. Um, in order to be able to control one-shot samples like this, I had to actually map my machine to control the remix decks and Tractor for each slot. Now, this was a feature that was unavailable in previous versions of Tractor, but is now available for all of you as well. I'm using machine here, but I'm using machine just as any other old kind of uh, MIDI controller. So you can do this with whatever kind of controller you have yourself. Right. Ah! OK, what, what's the issue now, old shifty? I'm trying to, trying to drop some knowledge. I just like to go, ah! Oh, OK, all right, we're, we're just going to continue on. OK. So 
Let's look at how to map the remix decks in Tractor. Let's start with deck C. And our goal here is to have each of these 16 pads correspond to each of these 16 sample slots. So if I hit the top left pad, for instance, it plays the top left sample here. So instead of using the mouse, I can actually use a pad, which is a bit more natural, except for all the mouse masters, the mice masters. I see you out there holding it down with your laptops, clicking like crazy. You guys got one finger skills. I can't, I can't do that. I'm not even going to try. So like I said, our goal is to make these pads correspond to these slots in the remix decks. So to do this, we're going to go to the preferences. We're going to go to control manager and we're going to pick the device that we want to map. So I'm using my machine, but just as a generic MIDI controller. Uh, so whatever MIDI controller you are using, uh, you would just simply pick that device. Now, to make uh, an actual mapping, that is to make that, you know, one of these particular pads control the corresponding slot in the remix decks, all we have to do is do add in, remix deck, direct mapping, and then here we have these different slots, slot one, slot two, slot three, slot four. Um, and slot one is this whole column here. Slot one is here, slot two is here on the screen, slot three, slot four. And then for each of these, we have all these different cells that we can pick. So this is cell one, this is cell two, cell three, cell four in slot one. And we can actually, you can see, map up to 16 uh, if we wanted to. So we go add in, remix deck, direct mapping, and let's map slot one, cell one. So that's going to be this one right up here. So we select that. Then we hit learn. We hit the pad we want to control that. We deselect learn, and then we make sure the assignment is where we want it. So we want this to be for remix deck C. Type of controller is going to be button, interaction mode is going to be hold, and you'll see when we do this, it indeed is controlling what we want it to. Let's do another one. Let's map this one here to this pad. So what we do is we do add in, remix deck, direct mapping, in this case it's slot one, cell two, trigger, learn, hit that pad, Deselect learn, make sure the assignment is deck C, and then voila. And we'd have to do this for all 16 different slots. Now you can go forth and map the remix decks to your own MIDI controller. Ah, so, so you like that part. Bah, that was the most boring thing I've heard in all the 90 years of my miserable life. I wish I was back in the Great Depression. You actually get paid to teach this? Yeah, yeah, they, they pay me, but only in sandwiches. Bah! Back in my day, we didn't eat sandwiches. We just bit into a ham, and we loved it. And then we looked up at the moon. Oh, sweet, gentle moon, how I yearn for thee. Th those were simpler times. Bah! Back in my day, we didn't have all this website do hickey Google my oogle kind of business. We just got ourselves a ham and a stick, and we had ourselves a good old time. Ah! Okay, DJ Shifty signing off, my new buddy Old Shifty signing off. For more tutorials, content, and courses, check out dubspot.com. Don't say it. Bah. Don't. Bah. Bah. Don't. Bah. Where's my suit? Old Shifty. Men were men, women were men, men were women, just like my great grandfather, Jebediah Shifty, New York Knickerbockers. What a team. <laughs> Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal. We're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and 
make music. 